Okay, as you can see, I have a lot of the colors blocked in here. Notice the edges. I'm not too concerned with them yet, but I do like the way that they're kind of flowing one into another, so there's not this hard edge to it. Uh, that tends to make things look not as real. Uh, but one of the problems that you have is when you're standing up, and now I'm painting on an easel as opposed to on a table, is your hand's not as steady this way. So as you're drawing your lines, it's a little harder to keep a steady line. So uh, what I usually use is something called a mollusk stick or any piece of wood that you have at this time, is just take a piece of wood, and you kind of figure out a spot where you can balance it. And what you do is you lean your hand on this. So if I want to paint an area over here, if I do it without this, my hand might be a little shaky. So I use this mall stick, and I take it, and it gives me a brace of my hand. So as I do this, I can come in here and I can paint. Otherwise, my hand might be a little bit unsteady. So I lean my hand on this part here, and I can start to paint. And then I know as I do this, I can keep a nice steady line down in some of the areas. So Use basically what's called a mall stick, and you can kind of put it in different directions. If I want to come over here, I know I'm getting to this spot. I kind of put it over here, and I lean my hand as if it was on a table, and now I have an area that I can work with, so it makes it nice and easy for me to work on that. So uh, keep working on blocking in your colors, and uh, the next step will be to start to add the second layer where we start putting in detail.